said you want to work on approach anxiety. You went to jail and confirmed your dad was <laughs> yeah, <it's> like <laughs> the family. I'm, and I'm yeah. being serious. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I hope you felt empowered at least. After no, I that. did. I, I left there. My mother's like, that was great. My brother was like shell shocked. And and th this question is a leading question to what I want to kind of say next. Um, but it, so kind of give me just a short answer because then it's a long thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is you started a new business and it failed all within like three months. Yeah. How did that? How does that happen? It's, it was the exact same thing, like not, it was just not seeing it till the end, like I didn't, I didn't want to fail, so I stopped. So, so, so you started business and stopped? That's pretty much what happened. Yeah, okay, okay, I just want to understand. So, I was looking over your forms about what you, where you want to be, uh, and your early forms said you want to be a successful entrepreneur, and then your later forms said you want to be a world traveler. The entrepreneurship just disappeared from it, now you want to be a world traveler. It's because it, the goal changed because I thought I couldn't you do one it. One thing decided not to do a change in time. <laughs> that, that's well, okay. I felt like this like magnetism towards what we were talking about before. I was like, I have the same problems. <laughs> like I guess the thing is my monetary goals. I don't know where the hell they fuck monetary goals. really are. And that's the thing. Yeah, it's it's just it's all like unless you love head. money and money is fun and just like it's just passion around money. Don't set a monetary goal. Like if you do what your passion is. You'll get that monetary. You may or may not, but guess, guess what? You'll have your passion. Sure. You'll so you'll fun try. So, question is, what's fun? Tell me some things that are fun. Um, some reading. Okay. Is fun for me. Okay. Uh, which is kind of ridiculous, but I've always loved to read. Fun, fun for me. I don't think it's ridiculous to write books. So. <laughs> 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 well, okay, so I'm thinking about it like, nice. okay, I can't make money reading. Okay, no, just fuck, fuck money. Well, that's that's the problem. Just, just, so... I want to hear about money. That's that's your dad, man. You know? Fine, fuck him. And see where that got him. See, no, see where that got him. That's true. See that got him. Seriously, your dad. Yeah. He was so focused on money, and I don't know anything about. Money. You're absolutely two hundred percent correct. Okay, let's just take that hit. And look where <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and he's in jail. Right. Right. So, I'm a, yeah. But you are too. I am. I'm my own fucking mind prison. I like cars. That's what I love. I love, you know, driving around. That, that's fun for me. Just going new places, seeing new things. I like planes. Trains are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like five. <laughs> Cool, man. I mean, I mean, for sure, there's never anyone who's made any money by being interested in planes or trains or going to new places or reading. <laughs> no one's made a career out of this. Yeah, they never. Just exist. never. <laughs> I'm talking to an author. <laughs> yes, there's no money no, in the I'm not saying for a personal thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, you know, I'm kidding. I'm saying, yeah. like, yeah, obviously. This is why, why are you putting down the shit said. you love is not real and not valid? What'd you say? Why are you putting down the shit you love is not real and not valid? Because it's always been put down. By who? Yeah. yeah, obviously. But yeah. he's in prison. Right. He's always told me like... So do you want to be in prison or do you want to be out of prison? That's true. What do you, what do you want? Well, I don't want to fucking be in jail. So what? Do you, that's what you don't want. What do you want? I want to be free. Okay. What do you think freedom is? The ability to do what I want when I want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Is there a right answer? <laughs> Not my right answer, obviously. I think the more spiritual answer would be something like freedom is the ability to, to do the next right thing. To choose what's good, what's best for me, and therefore for the world. So french fries and tater tots for lunch. People end up in prison doing what they want, when they want, and how they want. That's how they end up there. You go. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little reason why he's there. Because he tried to control everything. And to be able to choose what's best for you without his voice yeah. or anybody else's or any addiction or anything that's driving you. To be able to choose that. That's freedom. To be able to say, I can have a good life without making a fucking cent. That's freedom. It's funny you say that because it's like the one guy that I know that doesn't, he lives in Hawaii and just like bangs girls all the time. And I, res I mean, whatever, but he just has fun. And that's the thing, like, he's, and all these other people that I know, they're all like, oh, we're so worried about him. I'm like, he's the one in most respect. He just does what he wants. You know, it's, he chooses what's great. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. But I respect that, you know. I don't respect these other guys, like, who just work for, like, literally, I have friends that just work. They hate what they do. They just go every fucking day to their job. This is my thought about what you're saying is it reminds me of Floyd who's like I'm going to do all the work the warrior workaholic I'm going to go to Hawaii and do nothing they're just there's two different sides of the same pole and, and I think by you know I love Joseph Campbell says 
rebelling against something is just bowing, still bowing to it. That's true. So if we live in reaction to it, it's the same thing as living in accordance to it. Okay. Unless you can make money living in one bank. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, so, uh, so I think that your milestone then is to choose what's best for Andrew without your father's voice. Like exactly what Ryan that's, said. That's your freaking milestone. And think of those things that you love and are fun. And, uh, and don't think about how you can make money at it, but think about uh, um, how you can make that, uh, you know, how you can make that your job or your work. Yeah, I think it's okay to say make money or make a living at it. Make or, a living, or, not right. make money. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. Make a living at it, not make money. And, and also, the, I think a, a key nuance to what Ryan is saying is that he, he asked you like three different times, what do you want, what do you want? And you, you, there's a general focus on what you don't want. Yeah. And I think, that, I think that change of really, I mean, it's what you're saying, just saying it a different way. You know, I think that change of really looking at like, what do I want? Because that is boundary. Knowing what you want is boundary because that keeps what you don't want outside of the boundary. I'm pretty negative sometimes, but like, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that. It's well, right. well, it is, it is, and that's, I'm, I'm, this is going to be a hard task for you because that's the violent thinking involved with where your dad is coming from and that whole, that, I, I get that, it's in your body, it's in your language, it's in your, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. And, and, right. and here's, and it's, the, it's so late, the gloves people are, there's no care taking for what we're saying, we're just like, oh. no, but, but here's, the, <laughs> I'm apologizing. No, 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 you're fine, it's actually what I'm about to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember in your list of uh, colleges you made, you're like being a functional adult. But here's what I make up. You've gone from being a, a child, a lot to do what you're told, to being adolescent, rebelling against it. You know, you're not setting a boundary, right. you're just being an angry at, you know, now it's having to be a functional adult. Yes. I'm part of, yes, yes. Well, I, I mean, I think you're ahead. Part of being a functional adult is you, you don't, I mean, of all the guys I got to know, you have like the worst negative self-talk of anybody. Really? Uh, oh yeah. It still comes through? Oh, all the time. <laughs> Even when we're talking about something nice or that you enjoy or whatever, you're still like, constantly putting it down. I, I feel like, I, I don't know if you noticed that, like at times I saw it a it. month ago, I'm like, oh, no, that's not true, or don't, don't worry about that, or, you know. Wow. Yeah, you do it a you're, lot. You're actually doing it right now. Okay, so if you can just kind of be, if you can just kind of get a sense of what this feels like, because it has a feeling, I'm watching your book, for example. Yeah. You know, you, you'll, you'll go like, do it, and then you're like, and whatever this is right in here, this is part of your negative self-talk. That's yeah, kind of the yeah, body yeah. language of it. It's like, what, <laughs> fuck you. You know, just, so just see if you can, for example, undo that for a minute. Right. 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 Okay. Right. Yeah. right. I'm more open. Yeah. You look like a little kid hiding in his own house. You're scared of something. Yeah, I'm scared of something. You're more scared of something. Yeah. Still are, but you weren't. So I just want to show you. Okay, so Neil goes, Neil said, you're scared of something. You tensed up, your jaw tensed up, your yeah, body tensed up, so everything. Okay, so that's telling you there's something under there. Okay, so I, I want you, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to give you one piece of homework. Which is just start to notice something as simple as your breath or notice what is happening here because those, those things are intimately connected. I mean, that was crazy. You said, you're straight. I mean, the whole, like, the whole thing jumped. Right, so obviously there is some trauma. It is outside of your conscious awareness. Okay. That's why we're here. Right. We are your conscious awareness. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, then, and the last thing, and then it is, uh, I mean, just to point a point on what we're saying is, I just think it was interesting how you said the things you enjoy, you instantly dismiss them. That's childish stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny how you just instantly put that stuff down. Yeah, so that, that, that would be taken, that would be serious. There's a negative self talk. Right, is it, that's it. It's right. exactly right. And, and, Watch with, I mean, I'm just saying it's no, subtle, I, I man. Felt, I'm I sorry. My, my, my <laughs> stomach tension, like, right I'm like, like, I'm like, like all right, push it out. Uh, like, try to relax. The arms come <laughs> over. The cards go Well, you'll yeah. start attracting. And you, that gives other people permission to talk to you negatively. Maybe not because they think negatively of you, but if that's how we're out in the world, that's how people will connect with us. And eventually it'll start pushing away the people that, that don't want that about themselves either. So, uh, so your milestone then is to choose what's best for Andrew without your father's voice and figure out how to just make a living doing it and not get rich. You know, you don't, 
I hate when I hear someone's making money to fund their lifestyle. You're never going to make enough to do that. Just start living your lifestyle. <laughs>